Hey guys, I'm Karan Binani from Mobi Scrub and I'm going to talk about some basic automation that you must enable on your phone. It's not as complicated as it sounds and there are some features that you can enable immediately without doing a lot. Now the first one is to set up automatic backup of your photos and videos. This will do two things for you. The first thing is it'll ensure that you have ample space left. Remember, the more cluttered your phone uh, memory is, the slower your phone gets. And you can see that, you know, in my storage, I almost have um, nothing left on my SD card. So I have about just 94 MB left and that's that's too less. And the other thing is that you always have your photos backed up on cloud. So even if you lose your phone or, you know, you for some reason you have to format your phone, your photos are all backed up. And I recommend using Google Photos. It offers unlimited storage to you as long as your photos are less than 16 megapixel and your videos are, are less than 1080p, which is actually pretty much, you won't need more than that, right? And uh, the other thing is you can back up your photos uh, automatically as soon as you're connected to your uh, home Wi-Fi, you know, or any Wi-Fi actually. So it'll ensure that, you know, you're not uploading photos uh, using your cellular network, which is obviously much more costly um, and it's not unlimited. And this way you also get access to all your photos and videos, um, you know, anywhere. I mean, you could access them on desktop, on any other computer or on any other mobile phone, um, as long as it's backed up to Google Photos. Now, the second one is about setting up your DND times. Now, there are certain times of the day when you know for a fact that you really don't need any phone calls or notifications to bother you, especially when you're asleep. You can go into sound settings and then into DND settings, and you can always immediately turn it on through a settings toggle, but you can schedule it as well. For example, I've scheduled it to, you know, turn it on every day, starting at 10 p.m. in the night and ending at 7 a.m. in the morning. And that's especially when I'm sleeping, you know. Uh, but of course, there are still some important people that you'd want them to be able to get through in case of emergencies or if someone is calling you repeatedly. You can go into allow exceptions and define all those who can get through. You can enable repeat callers who will be able to ring your phone if they call the second time within 15 minutes. Now over here, I could set, you know, I want messages only from those who are in my contacts, from all irrespective and none. So, you know, you could move your contacts into your favorites list and have that right here. Now, the other thing is that, you know, let's say you're getting into a meeting and you want your phone to turn to, uh, you know, silent or uh, vibrate only automatically. D&D often can't do that because that would require you to set it up again and again. You can actually use if this, then that. You know, it's it's really makes life easy for you. So go into uh, the app, click into search and then type in meeting. Scroll through and look for the applet that says, uh, you know, it will silent your phone automatically basis your meetings scheduled in your Google Calendar. So if you have your Google Calendar synced to your work account, you can actually forget about muting your phone. And when you switch this um, applet on, you could, a you know, turn off this stupid thing it says you know you'll receive a notification when this applet runs and you can set your vibrate to yes and that's it you're done every time you enter a meeting now it will turn uh, into vibrate mode automatically the next one is about getting directions and time it takes to get to home in a single tap and this is simpler than even boiling water go into your widget section and scroll down to where it says google maps assuming that you do have it installed long tap on the widget and place it on the home screen and when you drop it on the home screen, it will open up this form, which is going to ask you how do you want to commute, whether by, you know, underground metro or walk it. Then you have to key in the destination to which you want, you know, how long it's going to take um, and the directions to that place. Then that's it. You just key in the destination. And, uh, you know, for example, I'm going to put in uh, a market here and I'm going to name this shortcut or this widget as, let's say, shop. And that's it. Once I'm done, it places it on, onto the home screen. All I have to do is tap it and it will immediately open up in directions uh, mode and it will also tell me how much time I'm going to take uh, to get there. Let's get to the next one now. Setting up some kind of lock mechanism is important to keep away people from prying into your phone but that's probably not the case if you're at home and unlocking again and again might be an inconvenience which is just not worth it especially when you're home. So you know you can actually add home as a trusted place. Go into security and look for a smart lock. Uh, you know, once you go into that, you need to add home as a trusted place. So go into trusted places. Um, I've blurred this out so that you don't know where I live. But yeah, you know, the point is that you need to, uh, you know, mark a region where you live. And every time your phone is in that region, uh, you know, you can see that it's already added a lat and a long uh, latitude and longitude as a trusted device. So, you know, there is no lock anymore. You just have to swipe the screen and it's going to unlock directly into your home screen. 
While I understand Snapchat and Instagram stories is big with all social media fanatics out there, but if you're still one of those who click photos um, and want to post it on Facebook and Insta and Twitter or even LinkedIn for that matter, then Buffer is an app that can do it for you in one shot. Simply, you know, just install the app and uh, connect your profiles, which you could also include Pinterest and LinkedIn. And when you're posting, just activate or, you know, check on the profiles that you want simultaneous posting on. You could also create schedules. So, you know, you could you could set posts in, in advance for the future and assign a time for posting it up online. 